Hi everyone, I am Vranksy, and welcome to my YouTube channel. In this video, I'll be showing you how to create an AI-generated movie trailer like my own Doom and Boquito trailers. First off, you will need a subscription to Midjourney. Personally, I'm using the $30 version. Once subscribed, you should open up Discord and add the Midjourney server. Subsequently, you will want to add your own server on which you'll invite the Midjourney bot. This way you can easily keep track of your generated content. Customize your server to your liking. I'm going to name this one AI Imagery. Then head back to Midjourney to add the bot to the freshly created AI Imagery server. Once you've added the mid-journey bot, you can give him a prompt by typing slash imagine, followed by what you want him to generate. In this case, I'm asking him to generate a cinematic still of Dwayne Johnson as God of War's Kratos in a 2 to 1 aspect ratio. Then it takes about a minute for mid-journey to create four images based on your prompt. Let's go with the fourth image of my first prompt and upscale it by clicking U4. Save the image and open it up in Photoshop. Personally, I always start off with copying the layer a few times as I'll need one for the figure itself and one for the background. Let's first select our character using the Object Selection tool. Create a mask and make a selection of the mask on the copied background layer. Expand the selection by a few pixels. Two to five will suffice. Then Content Aware fill the layer to erase the character from the background. As such, we have separated the image into two layers, our figure as the foreground and the snowy background. Let's save as a PSD file and open up After Effects. Start a new project and open a new composition. Make sure to use the same aspect ratio of 2 to 1 as you earlier requested in Mid-Journey. Import your PSD file as a new composition. Scale it to fit and head into the composition to reveal the multiple layers we created in Photoshop. Now we can animate each layer separately. As an example, I will create a zoom effect. I will add a lens blur to the background layer and afterwards I will set a keyframe to scale at the background layer. Set a keyframe of 100% scale at the beginning of the timeline and a keyframe of 102% scale at the end. This will generate a subtle zoom effect. Then we will do the same with Kratos. But instead of zooming to 102%, we will zoom to 110% as he's in the foreground. To make the video a bit more vivid, I downloaded a snow overlay from YouTube. Import the snow effect into your timeline, scale to fit, and set its layer blending mode to screen. This way, the snow effect will blend nicely with the image. If you want, you can also add some Gaussian blur to the snow and reduce the opacity to have it properly blend in with the scenery. Finally, we will add an AI-generated voice to the video. For this, I use an app called Eleven Labs. I'll make sure to leave a link to Eleven Labs in the description. Using this software, you can easily recreate any voice, as long as you have a clear audio file of at least one minute to use as a base. 
I found a very clear sample of the epic movie trailer voice on YouTube, which I was able to successfully use in my Bokito trailer. Let's try it out once more. Dwayne Johnson is Kratos. Awesome! Let's download this sample and add it to our video. Dwayne Johnson is Kratos. And there you have it. Now you know how to make your very own movie trailer. Just rinse and repeat this process until you have a full-blown trailer. Check out my Bokito or Doom trailers if you need some inspiration and don't be afraid to leave a like. Subscribe and leave a comment. I'd be happy to help out with any questions. Until next time, Vranksy out.